Independence Day turned into a terrifying ordeal for one York County woman. A car going 80 miles per hour crashes into Jennifer Smith's home, goes airborne and lands on its side. At first I thought maybe a bookcase fell over or something, but it was so loud and it went on for so long that I knew someone had hit the, the house. Police say it was Cameron Smith of York who was trying to get away from them while driving under the influence. He actually apologized, said that, that there's not enough apologies in the world, and I said, no, there aren't enough apologies in the world, um, and he was taken away in handcuffs. That's when she learned Smith's Mini Cooper wasn't registered or insured. It is very frustrating because now my homeowner's insurance policy is going to go through the roof, and or they may even drop me at this point, and, um, you know, at least I'm going to have coverage, but... It doesn't seem fair that I'm stuck holding the bag and having to deal with all of this. Her neighbor, Jeff Whitmer, who also happens to be a contractor, saw what happened and offered to help board everything up at no charge. You could hear it smack the house and then I ran down. Out of emotion, just felt as if it was my civil duty to help. Smith says she owes almost $1,000 in deductible costs, plus an estimated $20,000 or more that she is hoping the insurance will cover in damages. I will ask for restitution as part of his criminal charges to make sure I get at least the deductible back that I have to pay out of pocket, um, but that doesn't always guarantee you're going to see your money. In Manchester Township, York County, Josie Carbonari, Fox 43 News.